Seven years ago, I started game development and I wanted to share my story in the short video. Before making games, I was already in C++ programming. Then I discovered Unity and everything changed. I started experimenting, learning the engine and soon enough I made my first game. The Ball Killer. I created a basic terrain using Unity Terrain Tool. Added a character and built a shooting mechanics. I even threw in some enemies. Sure, the control was rough and collision didn't work well, but I was thrilled to see my first game come to life. Next I tried making a mobile game, inspired by nonograms. I enjoy playing these puzzle games on my phone, so I decided to create my own. But unfortunately I lost interest before finishing. Leap and jump? This was a side-scrolling runner where you could jump and roll to avoid enemies. And in this project I really learned uh, about animation in Unity. Space Adventure, this is my try on make a mobile uh, game with the uh, knob control. So you can see on the screen there is like a little knob which you can move uh, to any direction to move the main character of the game. And this control is mainly designed for the mobile devices. I have implemented the movement, although this project is not finished and I just left it after implementing this feature. Color balls. This project brought me back memories of my childhood game I loved. I spent week learning Unity NavMesh system to ensure our agents move accurately on the grid. After some long days of trial and errors, I got it working. It's fun little game. I still enjoy playing on my phone. This game remind me my old days where I played similar games on my old PC. Flag challenges. For the next mobile game, I created a flag quiz. It's future three game modes, time trail, survival and a quest 15 question short game. The flags were sorted by continents and player could track their stats with a percentage indicator for each region. Did you know there are about 250 countries? I learned a lot while making these games and also I now can recognize most of the flags, especially from Europe, America and Asia. Puzzle game. This game was inspired by another childhood favorites, sliding puzzles. Players had to move one square at a time to assemble a picture. I released this on, mo on both Android and iOS, making it my first mobile game designed in landscape mode. Sudoku Sticking with puzzles, I made a Sudoku game. It's future different difficulty level and the ability to take notes on the squares. Simple, but enjoy to create. This game was released also on the Android devices, on the Google Play Store and also on the iOS Store. I really enjoyed playing it on my phone and also you can find some tutorials made from this game on my channel. Pie making game. This was one of my most rewarding projects. I designed almost all of the artwork myself, including the fruit and vegetable sprites. I also added in-app purchases and a store for additional card sets. This was mainly for Android and I am super happy with how it turns out. Some of the graphics you can see in the videos has been imported from the existing asset packs, but all of the vegetable fruits and some of the UI, especially in the previous, in the old version of the game, was made purely by myself. Funny food. This is very simple game. Uh, was designed to be on the mobile devices and to be used by uh, very young uh, people. So this is basically to matching the shape of the fruit or vegetable to the uh, to the card. 
and you have just drag and drop the specific uh, fruit uh, on the correct card. So as you see, there are different levels. Uh, you have uh, I have implemented about 20 different levels. Uh, some of the levels are more difficult than the other. Uh, you have the time uh, at the top. I've also added the restart button. Uh, I've added the uh, sound and music manager for this game. The asset you, uh, which you see in this game is uh, is bought from the Unity Asset Store, uh, but all of the fruits and vegetables was created by myself, and uh, you can recognize those uh, from the power matching uh, game. Uh, so I just try to reuse my asset. This game was very fun to do and I'm very proud how it looks and played. I will, it was mainly released on the Android devices and uh, uh, yeah, you can see some uh, videos from it on my YouTube channel. World Spy Game This was my take on the World Crossing puzzle game. Player unlocked new categories by completing previous one. To save time I even built a custom Unity editor tool for creating puzzles more efficiently. It is a simple but polished game that I might expand it in the future. You can also find this game uh, as I made tutorial from, from it on my YouTube channel. And also you can actually get the WordSpy ready project from my website if you are interested. This game was very popular on the uh, Google Play Store and I think some of you might already took the, take the course. Block Adventure Game uh, This game was inspired by classic block puzzle game I created. You place shape on a grid to complete lines horizontally, vertical or di diagonally. Clearing multiple lines trigger cool animation text as you earn points. The shapes change colors. I built several Unity tools to bring this project to complete and I love how it turns out. I've also implemented few other bonuses, so if you reach the threshold of the points, the shapes change color to different. If you s clear the colors from the grid, then you will have a bonus points. I have also added implementation for the advertisement such as banner ads, interstitial and rewarded ads. If you can see at the top of the screen you have additional button where you can make three random requests for different shapes if this is what you want. By doing so you have to watch and complete watching the rewarded ads. Uh, I have also added uh, some of the cool bonuses uh, after the threshold. This game is really fun to play and also you c you can see there is a best score which is saved in uh, your phone and restored every time you start the game. So every time you play you have to try to beat your score and in this way you can see your progress. There are many more things you that can be added to this game. I think it's worth to expand this project in the future, but for now I'm very happy with the results. If I will have ever have any free time in the future, I definitely gonna go back to this project. Looking back, over the years I worked on so many different projects, including some I can't even mention here. These are just the ones I made in my free time. Reflecting on this journey, I am amazed at how much I have grown as a developer and skills I have gained along the way. If you are interested in tutorials or want to purchase ready to use game project, check out my channel and website. Don't forget to like, subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.